Hello everyone and welcome to Bell Explains. In this video, I will be explaining chapter 10.3, relationship between parameter and area. Let's get to it. Given the parameter of the square floor of a hall is 82 meters, find the area of the floor of the hall. Okay, so since it is a square, which means all sides equals to the same length, so we can have 82 divided by four, and that will give us 20.5 meters on each side. So in order to find the area, we have 20.5 times 20.5, and that will give us 420.25 meter square. All right, so for number two, the length of a rectangle is five centimeters more than its width. If the perimeter of the rectangle is 40 cm, find the area of the rectangle. Okay, so first let's draw out the rectangle. Okay, and then the length of the rectangle is five times more than the width. So if let's say the width is x, so the length will be x plus five. All right, and if the perimeter of the rectangle is 40 centimeters, find the area of the rectangle. Okay, so first let's find out what is x. We have perimeter equals to x plus 5 plus x plus x plus 5 plus x. So we also know that the perimeter is 40. And on this side, when you simplify it, you get 4x plus 10. So you rearrange this, you get 4x equals to 40 minus 10, and that will give us x at 40 minus 10 divided by 4. So you get 7.5 centimeters. Okay, which means that the width equals to 7.5 centimeters, and the length equals to 7.5 plus. 5, so that will give us 12.5. So now that you know the width and you also know the length, you can find the area of the rectangle. So the area, we'll use the formula of base times height because it is a rectangle. So the base will be 12.5 and the height will be 7.5. So this will give us the answer of 93.75 cm square. In the diagram, PQTU is a parallelogram with a perimeter of 24 cm. Okay, so P, Q, T, and U. This perimeter is 24 centimeters and has an area of 28 cm square. Okay, so given that UTS and PQR are straight lines, find the area of the whole diagram. Okay, so. We do not know the length here, right? Let's label this as x. And since here is also the same, same length, it will also be x. And since this is a parallelogram, so here will also be x. Okay, so let's first find the perimeter of PQTU. Okay, so the perimeter equals to 5 plus 5 plus x plus x. And we know that the perimeter of PQTU is 24 centimeters. So when we simplify over this side, we have 10 plus 2x. So that will give us 2x equals to 14 and x equals to 7 cm. Okay. And next, we also know the area of PQTU. So the area of PQTU. equals to the base times height, okay? So the area of PQTU is 28. The base is seven. But what is the height? Did they give us the height of this? No, right? So let's find the height. Okay, so the height equals to four cm. Okay, so now we can find the area of T, S, R, and Q, okay? Area of T, S, R, Q. So that will be one over two times the sum of parallel lines 
times the height. And now we already know all the values. So let's calculate the area of TSRQ. So we have one over two times the sum of parallel lines will be three plus seven times with the height, which we have already found, which is four. So that will give us one over two times 10 times four. So we get the area at 20 cm square. So if you wanna find the area of the whole diagram, we need to add both the shapes. So total area equals to area of PQTU plus the area of TSRQ. So that will be 28 cm square plus 20 cm square. And that will give us 48 cm square. Mastery Q 10.3. The width of a rectangular cardboard is 24 cm and its area is 960 cm square. Find the perimeter of the cardboard. Okay, so let's draw the cardboard first. So the width is 24 cm. We do not know the length, so let's name it as B. Okay, so since we already know the area, let's try and find B. So area is the base times height. And the area is already stated here as 960 cm square. The base is unknown and the height is 24. So now we can find the base, which is 960 divided by 24. So that will give us 40 cm. So the base is 40. So over here will also be 40 since it is a rectangular. And over here is 24, so over here will also be 24. So now that we know all the sides, we can find the perimeter. So perimeter will be 40 plus 24 plus 40 plus 24. And that will give us an answer of 128 cm. The perimeter of a rectangle is 48 cm. Explain how you should draw the rectangle so that the area is the largest. And what is the largest area? So the perimeter is at 48 cm. Okay, let's draw out the rectangle first. The rectangle here is, let's say here is x and here is x, here is y and here is y. Okay, so the perimeter will be x plus y plus x plus y. So since here is 48, since the perimeter is 48, and when we simplify over this side, we have 2x plus 2y. Okay, so that will give us x plus y equals to 24 cm. All right, so when x plus y equals to 24 cm, it means that this part and this part's combination should give you a value of 24, all right? And, and we can have many combinations, all right? So let's take a look here. For example, the first sample that we get is the base at 23 cm and the height at 1 cm. Okay, so the sum of 23 and 1 will give us 24. Okay, because x plus y gives us 24. Okay, so when you calculate the area for this part, so 23 times 1 will give us 23 cm square. But this is only the first sample. So let's try an error for others, yeah? Okay, so number two, we have, let's say we want to put 20 cm over here and the balance of 4 cm over here. So when you calculate the area of this one, you get 80 cm square. Okay, so now you see that this area is larger than the first one, right? But this might not be the largest. So let's try again. Now that we have already tried all of the shapes, 
So we can notice that the largest area here is shape number five. Okay, so what is the largest area? The largest area is 144 cm square. The diagram shows a piece of rectangular tile PQRS. A kite shape TUVW is inscribed in the rectangle. So given that the perimeter of PQRS is 120 cm, find the area of TUVW. Okay, so over here, TQ is 28. We do not know PT, so let's label this as X first. Over here is 12. So it means that over here is also 12. Here is 12 and here is also 12. Okay, and since TQ is 28, it means that VR is also 28. Since here is X, here is also X. Okay, so let's find the perimeter of PQRS. Okay, so let's take 28 plus 12 plus 12 plus 28 plus X plus 12 plus 12 plus X. So we know that the perimeter of PQRS is 120 cm. So simplifying this side will give us 104 plus 2x. So that will give us 2x at 16 and x at 8 cm, all right? So now that we know the value of x, we can find the area of TUVW. Okay, so the area of TUVW. Okay, the formula for a kite is one over two times the sum of A and B times the sum of C and D. Okay, so here we'll have one over two times A plus B. So if let's say here is A and here is B, so we have eight plus 28 and times with C and D, which is 12 and 12. So by putting this in your calculator, you will know that you'll get one over two times 36 times 24. So that will give us 432 cm square. A plot of rectangular land is divided into three sections, P, Q, and R, to plant three types of vegetables. The perimeter of the land is 170 meters, and the length of the land is 15 meters more than its width. So find the area of the largest plot for planting the vegetables. Okay, so if let's say the width is X, the length is X plus 15, since they have already stated here that the length of the land is 15 meters more than the width. Okay, so let's find the perimeter. So for perimeter, we have, since here is X, here is also X, and here is x plus 15, so here is x plus 15. So here we'll get x plus x plus 15 plus x plus x plus 15. Okay, so the perimeter is 170 since they've already stated here. And by simplifying this side, you get 4x plus 30. And that will give us 4x equals to 140. So x equals to 35 meters. Okay, so now we know that the width is 35 meters and the base is 35 plus 15. So that will give us 50 meters. Okay, so we don't the width and the base. So from this diagram over here, you can see that the largest plot is Q, correct? So let's find the area of Q. So since it is a triangle, we'll use the formula one over two times base times height. So that will be one over two times 50 times the height, which is 35. So this will give us 875 meter square. 
So that's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching Bell Explains. Do like and subscribe for more videos like this. Bye.